Okay, I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the S Pen and everything it can do with the Z Fold 4. A lot of these techniques will uh, translate to the other uh, older Note uh, devices, and even uh, the new Note devices will have uh, things very similar, I'm sure. But there are some new features, so I'll get into those. I also made another video about the uh, the S Pen and well the apps that it has. So that was um, there was just too long to get these all into one video. So today I'm going to be talking about the notes and the note taking and all the other things that you can do with it. And then the other video, like I said, I talked about all the apps like the glance feature and the magnify and the translate and all that other stuff that are pretty useful and pretty cool. So I'll leave the link down below so you can get into that video and it will just talk about all that stuff. But today let's get right into it. I just uh, tap the screen here. We got this thing here. We tap that, and I show in the other video. I show you just how to change these things. You could have that column view. Or you could have the circle, or the black and white, or some of the retro uh, views. And a lot of these uh, cool S Pen uh, designs that were available on the other Note devices weren't available on the Z Fold Four. So you have to kind of download and get to them. But I'll show you how to do that on the other video. Today, like I said, let's get into uh, taking notes. This is the take a new note, and that's to go into the note app in general. So let's go ahead and take a new note. So first things first, let's go right up here. We could do the three bars here. Now you could change the page template. You could do these things. So that is the background. You can change all that and do whatever you want. Another cool feature is you can actually download pictures and then use that as your background. Right? And that you could be drawing on. So kind of cool. You can also change the background color. All kind of simple things here that uh, you probably all know about already. I just changed it back to the gray color there. Then uh, the finger drawing on, this is a weird way of saying it, but with when it says on, that means it's not really on. See, I could draw and I can't do anything, but then I could scroll the page. And if you turn this on, if you click on that, it says finger drawing off, but it, I'm actually able to draw on it. So it's just a weird way for them to say it. I like to have this turned on so that I could just scroll and my finger doesn't do anything. And of course, once you do uh, your note, uh, you could save it as a favorite, you could share it, or you could just delete it. Now let's go ahead and just delete this one. Now this one I'll show you uh, a little later, and then this is just reading mode. So that just gets, if you have all your notes written down here and you kind of want to read through them, it just gets rid of that bar that's there. So let's get over here. The first little icon there, that's the keyboard. And now I could write down here and it will translate it up there. Uh, a lot of times I take notes like this. I just write it on the bar down here. Maybe I should write something. Right, you can see how sloppy that was and it recognizes it perfectly. Man, you could really almost try to write it bad and it will still come out okay over there. Then if you need something, you got the uh, little punctuation marks you could use there. You could use your return key, you could delete stuff. You could add a space bar, which is something that's hard to do with the um, when you're writing with the S Pen. And then also you can go here, you can get into your numbers and things like that if you want to. Then if you want to get back into your writing, just hit that thing. Now you got it here. And then if you want to get into the keyboard, now you got the keyboard, you could do your swipes, you could do your taps, whatever you want to do. So if you don't like that keyboard feature and you want to get into this, now you're into our writing part here. Now let me show you if we click on this, we get all these different options here. So you can pick obviously any pen that you want. You can make it uh, thicker or lighter just by doing this. You can pick out all these colors, and then if you want to click on this thing, you get into any color that you want to pick. So let's go ahead and pick yellow here. Then the other thing is, if you go like this, then it'll just be on the side there. So here you can be writing in your stuff. Then this will change the color, right? I got colors right there. Then if I don't like these color options, I could just go ahead and click on this, and then I could pick a couple of different bars of what colors I want there. And if I want to go back to where it was, that's that. This changes the thickness of it. So if I tap that, I can make it real thick. And then or we can make it real thin like that. Then I could also just move this anywhere I want, right? Which is, I could have it in the middle if I want. And it's kind of cool that Samsung does this. I could write right through it and it, you know, still there. Which, I don't know. That's kind of cool for me. So we could uh, go like this. And we could make that small again. And I could X that out. And if you go on to here again, you could make some favorites. Now I got these. So then I go like this. I can make it small in the corner here. Once you start writing, it pops up. I can move here and I can click here and I can get into my favorites. And then I could pick whichever one I want there, which is kind of neat. This whole bar could move. If I do like this, I can move it down here. I can also just put it on the corner there. I can put it on this side. You can put it wherever you want, which is kind of cool. Put it back up here. 
This is our highlighter, right? You can make it like this. And of course, you tap it, and then you could change whatever you want on here, the thickness, the how uh, how dark it is, and you can pick any of these different ones that you want to do. And then you can pick the colors. Obviously, you could have your favorites in there, just like before. And if you want to save a new favorite, you just hit this. I, this is my settings. I hit the star, and now it's going to be my new favorite on here. That's actually my favorite right there. My eraser, I can go like here. I could also have it on writing, and then I just hit the button here, and it will erase whatever. Um, it will erase the actual stroke like this, or you could have it where it erases just the. You could double check that, and you could do it where it erases just the area, right? So we do this now, and now I'm just going to erase this part. See, it's just of that right here instead of erasing the whole area. So that you get just by tapping on there, you could fix that. And then of course you pick the size. You could see that how big you want the eraser to be. And you erase it just a highlighter or, or not. Okay, so we got a clean slate here again. I'm just going to pick this one. And I'm just going to write, uh, this is great, right? Just like that. Now, also, a lot of people don't give Samsung enough credit here, but the palm recognition is amazing. I mean, there's no little splotches over here. There's nothing. I mean, it knows that I'm just holding it there, and I'm writing right there. And you can see out here, there's no bleed through. I mean, exactly as I was writing, as the pen was on the screen there, it's exactly what shows up there. So now, if we click on this little feature here, this is a little lasso, and I could lasso whatever I want there. You got these options that I could do here, but I could also uh, change the style, which is kind of really cool. So I hit the change style, I want it brown, right? Now it's brown. Kind of a really cool feature, I thought. Then uh, I could also change it into a lasso or a rectangle. We'll just keep it as a lasso right now, like this. And now I can convert this to text if I want. This is great, right? Now I can copy that or I could just convert it right there. So let's go into a couple other things. These colors here. Let me go back into my pen here. These colors are just a kind of three of your most favorite colors that you like to use. So I could be writing. I just tap this. Now I'm writing it with this. Now I'm writing it with this. But if you want to change these colors, you could change it and I could pick any color I want. And I hit done. Now it's there. Now also, you might not have noticed that, but if I click on this, I got this little ink thing here. So this will match any color that is on the screen, which is really cool. So if I tap this, and uh, let's see, we're going for this color here. Right, right there. Look at that. I can make it, oh, that was white. I can make it yellow, but it will match the exact color. So if you have a color on here that you forgot exactly which color that you used, it will do an exact match for you, which is, uh, like I said, really cool, I think. Now you got this, this does the thickness. So if I double click here, I can make this thicker, and that's going to be my pen, or I could make it like that. So you could actually have one doing like this, and then when you have different features or something that you want to make a little thicker, you just tap it, and you can toggle back and forth. This thing just goes to the last uh, thing that you wrote and erases it, and this arrow just kind of adds them back in. See that one kind of circled there? When I click on this, that disappears. So now what happens is, I'll just go ahead and write. And there it is, the words right there, written in perfectly. Um, and you could write wherever you want. You know, and it just goes there and it, perfectly. Uh, then if you want to do a couple of things here, if you want to erase something, you just kind of strike through it, and that's gone. Uh, if you want to add a space, it's a little hard, but you just make a little carrot there, and it will make a space. So to bring to get rid of a space, it doesn't usually work all that great, honestly. But if you kind of just do it a little bit and it will link it together, uh, that just deleted the S. But uh, usually that's how you have to do it. And it just, um, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. It's a little hard to do. But um, that's what you can do if you want. If you want to modify um, the words that you have written there. To go back to the writing here. And uh, this box here will actually straighten whatever you're doing. So if you're kind of writing on, you know, this was... Uh, you got a document, I'll show you how to get a document on here, but if you have a document and you sign in your name, you know, like this, and you don't like that, you need it to be straight, well, then you just go here, and it'll take it, and it'll straighten it out for you, which is really cool. And then, that's it. And if you don't like that, you can just go back to the way it was. So I'm just opening up to a blank page each time just to save some uh, time in the video so you don't have to watch all the tedious things here. But we're going to go over to this one, which changes uh, your written stuff into text so I'll make it like that I mean that's 
I'm kind of sloppy, but legible, right? We go into this, it does that, and this is great. Now, and this could be a lot of this if you want on here, but I can copy that or I can just convert it there. If I copied it, I could take that and I could put it into a Word document. I could put that into a text or, or do whatever I want with it. And we got it back onto the beginning here. Right, we're doing the same stuff. Now, uh, if I didn't like that color or I, you know, I wrote that too thin or too thick or whatever, well, I could just click on this thing. Just double click it. I, I, if you just click on it once, whatever you have preset in there, that's the, what's going to happen. But if I, I just want to show you here, I could change it. And look, I made it real thick and I changed the color. But if I go into that, now that's going to be the preset uh, style in there. So if I just hit it once and it converts, that's what it's going to convert to. If I want to change it to something else, I could do that. But now when I just tap this, it changes that whole thing. Now if I want to change it again, you know, I go into yellow and I can make it a little thinner. So that's going to be my thing that it's changing into. I just have to get it close and then it will change that. Okay, this little feature over here I use a lot. This is kind of cool. So uh, it makes an easy writing pen. So I'll, I'll just do that. And now I just write down here and whatever I write will be transferred up to there. This is kind of if you are uh, a little bit of an animal and you kind of just write in all crazy ways here. And it will just look super sloppy on the screen. You could write it on here super sloppy then it will come in here and it will be nice and fine. So I could just do this, right? And there it is. See how much bigger that is and make it nice and small. Now, a couple of cool things here. I could make this actually smaller. This small, right? Now I could just move this also right there. So that's my new spot that I'm writing, right? And now it's right there. And you can see how neat that is. But this is also kind of thick. So I can just move that there. And I can change my pen so it's not so crazy. And then you could write, again, whatever you want, and it just shows up right there. Then I can move this down there. Now, also, this part you can move closer, and now it will kind of automatically go to the next, it will kind of move to the next box, and next box, and next box. So you could write across the whole screen without ever moving anything. So I could be typing my words, right? I get to this part, and it automatically moves over, and it moves over this. So now I can just keep going. And then over here. So now this is a whole, you know, line that I could be writing without having to move anything. I'll just keep writing. As soon as I cross that, it knows to go to the next spot. And then if I keep going, it will actually take it down to the next spot. Or I could hit a return, you know, I can move it around. And, you know, again, I can move this wherever I want. I could make this bigger or smaller. So you can see it's kind of almost the same size there. This little writing area here, I could also move up and down to wherever I want, you know, whatever's comfortable for me to write. Uh, and as you know, so I'm writing across the, the crease here, really no problem at all. I mean, it's, I don't really feel much at all. It goes straight through there. Uh, the words are legible right across. So you could do it like this or you could flip it and do it the other way. Either way works just fine. So this is really cool. Again, if you want to write uh, like a to-do list and you can just list them here and it will actually be kind of in a neat mode and much smaller and tighter than you were, you know, writing on like a crazy person. Okay, this feature like everyone kind of knows about or everyone, uh, uh, this is kind of the thing that a lot of people like to show off. This, I just make this and it will do a shape, right? So now, you know, I do this and it makes a shape. Now also, uh, just to show you here, if I make this thicker, now it's going to be a much thicker shape. See? So that's kind of cool there. And this, of course, you know, does the triangles. Uh, it will do a, a star if I can kind of get it close together. Or not really. I think I can do it. There we go. So there's a star. I could also do an arrow. You know, kind of fix it. Well, okay, let me do it a little better. I'm going to fix it up and makes a nice arrow there. So there's a whole bunch of things that you can do. Uh, but you can also take all these shapes and you can put this, like I said, on a PDF file or any of that stuff, which is really where it's uh, much more effective and much more useful, I would think. But this is kind of cool. You could just do, like I said, these shapes if you're drawing or doing stuff. So now this means I can't move it now. Remember, I could scroll it. Now I can't. And if I want to scroll it, I just use, need to use my two fingers. So this is if you're, you know, you just don't want to toggle it by accident. You want to move it by accident. And then if you just want to toggle that off, you hit this. And now the shapes are always going to stay on here. You got to get out of this. So you just get out of the shapes. You just hit this. And now I'm back to my normal drawing. So now, as I said, we were going to get back up here and show you a couple of cool things about having a PDF file on here. But if we do this... I can insert this. So this one here, 
did the background template and you could actually change the colors and you know all that kind of stuff there but for the insert we could do this I can insert a picture if I want to I could uh, actually just take a picture and scan a document like if I had homework or uh, any kind of lecture material that I had to go over I can scan it and put it right on here uh, you could take a picture and again put it on the background I'm so I'm going to go to a PDF and I got something here done but uh, so you have this now you can scroll through this whole document so if your uh, you know teacher sent you a big lecture and you got 10 pages of this stuff it's all right here if you have some work or something you have to study or you know some presentation you have to do you could have it all right here as a saved as a PDF and now I could take this and I could write you know whatever I want I can make this a little finer here right so like this I can make that red so here, you know, I'm sending this to my uh, coworker who's working on this kind of thing. I say, no, this is the sloppy. We got to rechange that, or whatever, right? Then I could also even, if I want to get a little crazy, we could do the uh, turn on the arrows here, and I uh, turn on the shapes, and I could kind of make a little arrow. And you know, look how neat and like kind of professional this looks like. We could do that, and then I could circle it here. It just kind of makes it look very nice. And then again, I could hide, do all this with the writing. I could also even do highlights. So if you're studying this stuff, and you're trying to figure out what the heck is going on, right? We got our, our pen there, and I could highlight it, and there it is. So that's what we're looking at. Now, another cool thing I just wanted to show you, just, you know, the Samsung, Samsung thought of all the software around here. So if you go in here, I can make this really dense, right? And then I go over here, a highlight, you can barely see that print underneath, but Samsung brings it in and makes it darker. So when I go like this, again, I can barely see it, and now the Samsung brings the print underneath and brings it forward, so now it's very uh, legible. And here we go, we could have a quick color change. So again, I'm highlighting things, and it, so I can save this myself. I could be emailing this to somebody, I could share it to somebody. So we do this, again, I could share it as a text file. A notes file, PDF, any of these things. And then, again, if I want to do a PDF file, right? And again, now I could save it any which way I want, email, text, it, whatever you want to do. So really cool feature there. So again, there's a couple other things here. I could, uh, to this note that I have here, I could add a voice recording, an audio file, another drawing, a text box, whatever I want. But just to show you here what else you could do here, uh, you know, just got an audio file here. This gets played. Right, right there, but I could just save this, right, and this could be sent as, it could be uh, sent as a PDF file or a notes file here, and I could send this as, uh, you know, I emailed this to myself to test it out, but I could email it or text it, and then I'll have all this music in here, and then I'll actually have this embedded audio file in there, so... I don't know how useful that might be, but kind of cool. Uh, mostly I would think it would be uh, cool to have your voice uh, file in here if you needed to say something or give some directions or something like that. Uh, that would be kind of cool to do. But a lot of things you could do with these uh, this Note app. In the other video about the S Pen, I showed you how you could go right into uh, text writing on your calendar right through here. But you could just go into your Samsung calendar, and then you could just hit here. And then you can go ahead and write and do whatever you want. Um, and again, you can change your pen down here, as I showed you. You could also, if you're trying to write something nice and small, you could just blow this up a lot, you know. Right? And now it's super legible in there and uh, very easy to write instead of you having to type it or swipe it or anything like that. And then you could, of course, save it. Or you can go into here. And then if you go into the calendar here, right there, it will open up the calendar. So kind of cool stuff. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for you and uh, hopefully you use some of these things. I'll put chapters on the bottom so we can go into just the exact features that you want to know about. Uh, please hit subscribe. That helps me out a lot and grows my channel. And like I said, I have another video on this where I do all the apps and show you a bunch of more stuff that you could do with the S Pen. I hope that was helpful for everybody and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.